welcome back to the Structured Samurai. My name is Pastor Laval. Today we're going to answer a very quick question. How do you tape if you have no prior knowledge of muscle or functional anatomy? Well guys, there's one trick that I like to say, X marks the spot. So as long as you have a roll of tape and you know where the pain is located, you can tape yourself, okay? So follow these little instructions. It's gold, okay? So guys, welcome back. I'm going to use a very quick example, my wrist. Ten years ago, I shattered it from here to here doing dumbbell press on a Swiss ball. The ball popped from under me. So the first step what you want to do is make sure that you know where the pain location is, okay? So what I do is I take a marker for makeup, basically for eyeliner, and I draw a line exactly where the pain occasionally sets in when it gets damp, okay? Second thing you want to do is put a compound on the skin so to make sure that if there's hair or it's oily, you can control basically the adhesivity of the taping. So I like to use a little bit of a rock sauce, but if you do not have rock sauce, you can use some germ out because it's great to take out basically oily skin and it dries out the skin so the tape is a lot better when you put it on, okay? my wrist right here with a nice little mark, I'm going to start putting my first strip, okay? Now, the first thing you need to understand is you need to have full mobility in your wrists, okay? So make sure that you tape with full mobility. So in this case, even if you don't know your anatomy, okay, go away from the joint as far as you can. And that's pretty much how you're going to start taping, okay? If you tape too close, what's going to happen? You're going to tape right here, and the tape is going to prevent you from having adequate mobility, okay? So just remember, mark first, compound on the skin, and then make sure mobility is optimal. You're going to take your first strip, break the end of it, keep half of it, just like this, and now we're going to do exactly as I say. We're going to go away from the injury, just like that, okay, I'm just going to put it right here, okay, and I'm going to put it right now with no stretch right here, and notice that I kept a little bit of where the mark is, so I know how I'm going to put the second strip right afterwards, so I'm just going to go like this, and there, just like that, there we go. So I've got my first strip, this is called the stabilizing strip, and we never put any stretch on the taping. And remember, this trick is called X marks the spot, okay? So I've got my little point of reference right here. Above that point of reference right here, okay? I'm going to put it right here, okay? Like that, okay? Then, I'm going to make sure, okay, that I'm going to use maybe about 50% stretch, okay? So we're going to stretch 100, come back 50, and then apply exactly the tape where the location of the pain was. So like you can see, I've got full range of motion, and I didn't use any functional neurology or anatomy. I'm just using my point, basically, which is X marks the spot. That's why there's an X right now on the spot. You can use that for any kind of pains or any kind of fractures. I hope this helps you a lot, guys. And if you did like this video, please subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time. Ciao.